Hey everyone, welcome back to Bisexual Men Uncovered, the channel where we break down sexuality, biology, relationships, and identity with honesty, humor, and real science. Today's question is one that a lot of men, gay, straight, bi, and everything in between, wonder about why do some men have large testicles while others have small ones? Is it hormones, genetics, evolution, or is someone lying on grinder again? Let's find out. Section 1. Setting the Stage First things first, let's get this out of the way. Testicle size is incredibly variable. Just like height, penis size, or voice pitch, there's a wide natural range. But here's the big truth. Testicle size does not determine masculinity, sexual orientation, or sexual skill. We're simply talking about biology, not worth, not attractiveness, and not performance. Section 2. Anatomy and Function To understand why sizes differ, we have to understand what testicles are actually doing. Testicles have two major jobs. One, producing sperm. Two, producing testosterone. You can think of them like a biological factory, and factories come in different sizes depending on what they produce. Section 3. Genetics, the biggest factor. Let's start with the number one reason for size differences. Genetics. Just as eye color or foot size is inherited, the size of your gonads is mostly written into your DNA. If your father or grandfather had smaller or larger testicles, chances are you follow the same pattern. There's no good or bad size. It's simply inherited variation. Section 4. Sperm Production and Evolution Now here's where things get really interesting. Evolutionary biology tells us that species with higher sperm competition, meaning multiple males potentially mating with the same female, tend to evolve larger testicles. Examples 1. Chimpanzees. Huge testicles relative to body size because many males mate with the same female. 2. Gorillas. Small testicles because one dominant male controls the group humans? We fall in the middle. That means human testicle size varies widely. Some men naturally produce more sperm and thus have larger testicles. Others produce less and have smaller ones. Again, all normal. Section 5. Testosterone Levels A common myth is, bigger balls mean more testosterone. Not necessarily. Most men, whether they have small or large testicles, fall within the same healthy testosterone range. However, men with certain medical conditions, like varicocele or hypogonadism, may have smaller testicles due to lower hormone production. Conversely, larger testicles don't always equal higher testosterone. Sometimes they're just genetically bigger. Section 6. Body Size and Lifestyle there's also an interesting correlation between body size and testicle size. A tall or large man doesn't automatically have larger testicles, but men with smaller, leaner builds sometimes have slightly smaller ones due to overall body proportions. Lifestyle can also influence size indirectly. 1. Obesity can reduce testosterone and shrink testicle volume. 2. Extreme heat exposure, like frequent hot tubs, can temporarily shrink them. 3. Steroid use can dramatically shrink them due to hormone disruption. Section 7. Sexuality and Orientation And because this channel focuses on bisexual men and sexual diversity, let's answer this clearly. Sexual orientation does not correlate with testicle size. Gay, straight, and bi men all show the same natural range of testicle sizes there is no scientifically supported difference. Section 8. Medical Conditions Sometimes differences come from medical causes, though these are less common. Some medically recognized factors include varicocele, enlarged veins that reduce blood flow, hormonal imbalances, infections, undescended testicles in childhood age-related shrinkage. If someone notices sudden changes, pain, swelling, or one testicle becoming drastically bigger or smaller than the other, that's a good reason to talk to a healthcare provider. Section 9. 
symmetry. Why one is bigger. And yes, for almost all men, one testicle is naturally larger, usually the right. This is normal anatomy, not an issue. The slight difference helps reduce friction and lower the risk of injury. Section 10. What size means for fertility and sexual performance? In general, larger testicles may produce more sperm, which can matter for fertility. Smaller testicles do not indicate lower sex drive or worse sexual performance. Your ability to enjoy sex, give pleasure, and connect with partners has absolutely nothing to do with size. Conclusion. So there you have it, a full breakdown of why testicle size varies so much among men. It's mostly genetics, a bit of evolution, some hormonal influence, and the rest is just natural human diversity. If you found this helpful, funny, or strangely fascinating, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into sex, identity, and the male body. Right here on Bisexual Men Uncovered. Thanks for watching, and remember, every body is different and everybody is valid.